Welcome back, Wayne here again. <clears throat> Another video on the on the four drive. Um, I did say I wasn't going to do any more work um, until I've moved, but um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd just keep going while I can. Um, and uh, just get some more stuff done. Um, things that aren't going to cost me a great deal of money. So uh, yeah, until then, I uh, until I start packing up, um, we'll just we'll just keep going for now. Uh, so today, or oh, this afternoon, actually, it's like four o'clock or something now. Uh, got the house to myself. Uh, wife and kids are gone out, which is good. You make some peace and quiet, which will have plenty of peace and quiet soon once I'm out on my own, which I'm looking forward to now. Um, yeah, I'm going to start on the back here. Um, take all this out, uh, take the cargo barrier out, and um, sort out the piece of wood for the bottom, um, which is in in here. There, um, the sides, uh, get that filled in, and, um, and then maybe just a little bit for the top there, just to, uh, fill that, that gap in. So, I'll take everything out of here, take the cargo bear out, uh, I've got to cut and weld some tabs onto the, onto the frame there. Uh, I've got a piece of uh, I've got a piece of wood or a piece of MDF. I'm just using MDF for this sort of stuff. I'm not too fussed about it. It'll all be covered in carpet eventually anyway, and it's not really going to get wet, so I'm not too concerned. All the draw stuff and that I'll do out of something else, marine ply or whatever, just some something else. Um, but uh, the cargo barrier there, I'm, I'm not too fussed about. That can just be out of MDF. So I'll get on to that, um, yeah, get all that out, because I have to take the amps and stuff out to get that um, cargo barrier out. So i already disconnected the power here, which goes to the back, so it normally just goes on that terminal there, where the wing nut is. So I've taken that off, um, so that's just a zero gauge. Um, cable which all runs to the back it's fused up at the front and then runs into uh, runs into this here which is the um, uh, fuse block there also gives you a readout here of volts and stuff like that but that's all um, you can see there so you got your power outlets and all that's in and uh, out over the other end I'll take that out and uh, all this stuff, inverter, and eventually I will, once I've got a job in that, um, I will replace all these. Get new stuff, um, which will be on the other side of the cargo barrow. And uh, yeah, make it look a bit better. But at the moment, I'll just put this stuff back on and wire it all back up. I'll take this, because this is where I've I've just got all my powers, power and earth, just running through um, hole here, which I'll um, fill that hole back in. I might use it for something else. I don't know. I'll just take everything else out at the moment, but as I've done that, all my earths go back, back down to the chassis. So they're all they're all bolted in down. Where are we? Down under here. So all the earths are bolted through to the through the chassis under there, and then the main earth, which I mean main power, which comes from the front up through the back there. But uh, I'll find a. I think there's a hole hole with a grommet uh, just near the door. I think so. I'll probably just use that and then run run that power up. But uh, so yeah, I'll get on to uh, get on to taking this out and 
and uh, yeah, all right, let's get started. Alan Keys. Get that, get that uh, an old subwoofer out. It's been in there for a while, that one. It's just a cheap O, but it's uh, done a good job. Yeah, it's just an old thing. That boxes. Boxes buggered. So it's good having the house to myself. Peace and quiet. That's the way I like it. Don't get hassled. Always liked having a bit of music. Had some pretty good, uh, pretty good setups over the years. This isn't one of them. <laughs> this is definitely nothing special. Lost the washer. It was only a cheap uh, inverter, this one, but uh, it's done the trick. It's got a single fan, it's a thousand watt, but uh, yeah, it's, it's done us uh, good. It's been good for those times where the, uh, the power's been out of the house. Yeah, power blackouts and that, and so uh, usually someone that's set up for camping is uh, all good during power blackouts because they've got car fridges, usually inverters. So uh, yeah, so I've always been fine there. Again, just a cheap amplifier. It's a audio audio line, I think it was. Just a two channel that I was using for the sub. Hit me head again. So it's just that uh, power block there. So uh, power in, 
fuses and uh, your power out. So you know, zero gauge in and and uh, yeah, four gauge or eight gauge out. And it just gives you a readout there, a little four digit readout. Tells you whether your fuses are good and and that. Works pretty good that thing. I'll use it again at the moment. Again, nothing too expensive, just a Kenwood. You can see it, four channel amplifier. Yeah, mostly everything's been uh, fairly budget related um, over these past yeah, 10 years, I guess. Just uh, haven't had the funds to spend big money. side of mount everything. Ah. Oh. So it's there, so I just left all that original uh, panel there. The only thing I, I uh, trimmed up was this edge here. Um, and then just ran wires through there. So it normally had a, a bend on there, just the end. So I just cut it off. I've done that, done that a fair few years ago. That not long after I, uh, not long after I got the car. Just mounted everything up there. That was before I had the cargo barrier, so everything was a bit neater. And then when I done the cargo barrier, I had to shorten it up a little bit and move the amps, and therefore the wiring was all messy. And but uh, yeah, I knew I was going to fix it one day. So now we'll get to uh, the bolts here and on the other side and then oops shit camera work and then the ones up there so I didn't put any um any bolts up top there did uh, just doesn't need it um with those four down there strong enough uh the sides have got uh, nut certs in them so should be having a beer I have beers in the fridge, but sometimes, sometimes you just don't, you just don't feel like it. Plus, it's something I don't really enjoy. There, iron jacks in a can. So, it was in a bottle, not a problem, but beer out of a can. Not the best. Not the best at all. Just cut that out. That was a, the other a lighter point that I had in there to run the fridge and things. So it was one that's sort of more suited for outside, but that was what I had at the time and that worked. Um, still worked. Uh, just see uh, what you can see there. Just the power wires, just the covering starting to pull out of the out of the hole there. But I'm sure if I taped it up or something it'll be alright. But uh, I've got the others other ones there anyway which which I'll put on there somewhere. So I had to move move all these wires, take them all out and uh, run them back up the other 
on the other side. Somewhere there. Taking those hooks, tie down. Tie down hooks out so I can take this carpet out here. And, well, I've got the vinyl, I've got a vinyl mat over the top of the over the top of the carpet. So just works as a bit of I don't know. Sound deadening, I guess. There's always one. Place. Place that screw. In the bucket. I've got plenty, so it's not a problem. Got plenty. Oh, four cents. So that was all done. Got the carpet underneath it. So I just put some some nut certs in the side there and then just use these bolt holes. Uh, I forget now what they were. Oh, I think they were for the original seat, the back seat. So, uh, yeah, so I'll just use those. She's all good. Yeah. So we'll redo, move all this over to the other side. We'll do that later. So the back speakers, which I'll move. I'll take these out of here because I don't need those in there anymore. And uh, we'll move them probably to the back doors or somewhere in the back, I think. That or just get some smaller ones, just get some six and a halves or something like that. Um, just leave these out. So, yeah, just I'll take these off. And um, don't know what to do there. 
I'll work that out later. So over at the moment, there's the cargo barrier there. Um, so I'll just clean it up down the bottom and uh, these just um, cut some tabs out and we'll just put a couple around here cut the sheet to fit in there and then we'll probably put another tab up here and maybe one somewhere here for the side panel here on either side uh, and then work out work out what to do with the top there whether I do put a small small piece in here just to completely block that back section off here so it'll be like a you know completely sort of sealed uh, unit at the back here it'll help keep you know dust and everything out of out of the cab out of the front area I mean so so I'll probably stick I think I'm gonna stick in these doors on here. Which these are they've got tint on them, which is sort of not too bad, but they've also got the big the electric and then it's got this um these big pockets on them. So I thought I could use some of that pocket space um and mount um like a speaker in there. Uh, just block sort of half of it off or a quarter of it off or whatever room I need for a uh, small speaker and put that in there maybe. Um, we could either do that or or somewhere somewhere down just in the corner there maybe but we'll sort that out I can't afford to buy speakers at the moment anyway so it doesn't really matter so I'm just doing what I can afford to do so we'll get on to uh, get on to doing this um, just sand a little bit of that off and I'll uh, put because uh, I'll just use just use this I've got plenty of these little brackets um, they were oh, they, you know, just for just construction work just um, timber work on the house and stuff um, I think so anyway I've got a few of these and I'll just uh Cut them off, probably just cut it along there, just use that hole that I've already got there, round the edges off, just use a couple of these, they're gal, but it's fine, it'll do the trick. Yep, I don't get too worried about using the right stuff or wrong stuff, I just use stuff, whatever I've got. Because I've got plenty of, um, Plain little off cuts and things, so easy you go. Look. Got heaps, got other stuff here. Shelf and brackets, other. You know, it's just handy to keep this stuff. So, you know, it's all, all usable. All usable, all this. So, yeah. So, things like that, you know, I've got a few of these. And yeah, we've got little holes in them. So, stuff like that is uh, is usable for little jobs, you know, all usable, just to do that small stuff. So, which is, you know, what this is, just a couple of small brackets is what I need. So I'll get onto that, and uh, see how we go, I'll just have to get the welder going, and Sort that out, uh, cut the other piece for the bottom and the sides. Um. I'm out of, out of one mil discs.
thought I had a few, but I've already. Run out. Six of those cut. That should that'll do for the bottom. Clean up. Screws left over from when I've done that top section. Do the trick. And what's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Heaps left. Hiccups. Alright. Now, there's them. Alright, good day. It's uh, the next day. That's a uh, 15th of May today. Um, I stopped doing stuff last night because the uh, battery on the phone went flat. So I um, 
yeah, so it's the next day now, and uh, finally get back out here again in the afternoon. Been running around all day trying to get um, trying to get me medicine, me uh, insulin for me diabetes. So yeah, stuff around with the doctor and stuff like that, and because of all this coronavirus and done the script over the phone and never sent it or sent it and chemist didn't get it so backwards and forwards and anyway got it sorted joys of having diabetes and high blood pressure and high cholesterol and whatever else it's just how it is uh, alrighty so um, we'll get going again on this um, cargo barrier I'll um, yeah show you what we're doing okay so I got the cargo barrier out as, a, as you've seen um, I'll just chuck a couple of things on here at the moment just to sort of see what I'm doing but yeah everything will go on there uh, just cut the, uh, cut the piece out for the bottom. Just done that. Done that last night. Uh, so today we'll get these tabs welded on around the edge. And get that screwed up. Probably won't, won't worry about painting it, I'm not... Not too worried about that. Uh, yeah, so I'll get those tabs and then I'll probably do probably do another tab for here and probably one for up there um, for this bottom piece. I'll have to put it back in the car so I can um, do a little template for this um, this corner here on, uh, on what I'm cutting out there. So I'll just remove everything from there and... Uh, We'll get that done. Let's get this bit of a clean up. Clean up some of that paint. Measuring.
Square, 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 where'd you go? Square, hello. I've got a square somewhere. Where, where, where? Where, oh square, there you are, hello. to be 100% uh, accurate. Once it's all finished, you're never really going to see it. Okay. That'll be alright. Make trolley for me. Well,
siap-siap Still sight. Anyway. All right, I'll have to put some paint on them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's time to drill some holes. Banner for these. That's probably about a ten mil, roughly. Yep. What?
these screws are a little bit longer than what I want them, but uh, once I put finish everything off and carpet it, then I'll cut them to size. Softer on the knees. Okay, let's do this up. That's that done. So now I just need to uh, put this back in and uh, measure up these side pieces. Okay, so I just sat that back in there. <clears throat> and then um, I'm going to measure up. Oh, a little this cardboard template or something uh, to put in here, and then I'll put a um, yeah, I'll probably put probably put two power uh, two tabs on there. Like one might be alright because it's it's not really going to be anything there. Uh, it's just to cover the hole in, so maybe one will do. But either way, I'll get them. Uh, I'll get them cut out to that shape and uh, so there we go. Start by cutting a little bit out of the time. Close. A little bit more in here. Should do okay. It's not going to be going to be a hundred percent right, but good enough. As long as it fits over this side too. Yeah, I'll be pretty happy with that, I guess.
Yep. There'll still be a little bit of a gap there, but I don't, I don't need it to be watertight. <laughs> Close enough will be good enough. It's not going to be seen. So, cut it off. There. So let's go down here and trace it out somewhere. Two. Beauty, look at that. Perfect. Okay, now, uh, we got uh, sort of an AB jigsaw. I haven't used my jigsaw in quite some time. Uh, we've got a couple in here. It's got a blade on it, so that's alright. Stuff falling out. trim mm. all right well I'm pretty happy with uh, with that now I'll take the cargo area back out and uh, see whether I want um, one or two one or two tabs there because it's not really going to be doing a great deal. So I'll just put one here. It'll probably be enough. It'll definitely be enough. So we'll cut another tab off and we'll stick it here on that side. And that'll hold that.
Right, so I've got those little corner pieces cut out. Um, cut more little brackets here. Cut. Uh, so I need to um, bring the welder back over here, which I um, put away, which I shouldn't have. I should have just left it because I need it again. So we'll go and get that organised. Drill a hole will help. Good job. Good enough for me anyway.
Right, I'll end this video here, but that's all back in. Uh, I'm not going to worry about painting the bottom bit. Um, that'll all get covered up anyway, because there'll be, you know, um, fridge here and drawers on that side, the left there. And I'll be able to build the rest of the frame off of off of all that. Um, and then once I go to carpet it, then I'll um, I'll trim all those um, all the nuts up. So they're all pretty long so I'll trim all that up and then that's about it so I'm pretty happy with that I'll get me by for a bit it's good those sides filled in as I said I, I will still go ahead and do um, the um, wings on the side here but uh, it'll be later so um, alright that's it see you all later